Good morning. And welcome to The Sun is Just Coming Up This Morning, Winnipeg. A cold Winnipeg. It's for, compared with what we've just had the last few days, it's cold. I went outside about, oh, I'm guessing 15 minutes ago now. And I took my little point and shoot out there. And I gotta show you this. I'm not ready for this. As I said, I am not ready for this. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, well, it's, we can't stop it. <laughs> it came last year and it came the year before and it's probably come for thousands of years previous. It's coming. Well, winter, Winnipeg winter. <laughs> Yeah. No. Did not come back to the model table yesterday. Won't be a rollback. <laughs> uh, spent a lot of time designing another mug for uh, for the hood. It's going to be a, a lot like this. Only it's going to have a Union Jack on the on the sides uh, for a flag. <laughs> I hope I got the Union Jack right side up. It's kind of hard to tell. I know there's a right way and a wrong way. And, and, and when you look at it at first, uh, you, you sort of, you really can't tell. But there is a right way and a wrong way for that flag to be up, apparently. And I'm just hoping that the, uh, that the graphic that I got <laughs> had it right side up. Because apparently in Carlo's book, I'm told by somebody who's supposed to know, he drew it upside down <laughs> when he when he drew it on the on the uh, on the Rodney. Uh, yeah, I should check that out and see what the, what they're talking about. Something the way the the lines go there. Yeah, yeah, like the Canadian flag. It's real obvious when it's upside down because the maple leaf will be upside down instead of being up. It'll be down. <laughs> Can't go wrong there, or the American flag. You know, you know that the the stars are in, uh, the stars are on the top. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> now uh, apparently, when I was talking about this little ladder here yesterday, and we'll put the macro lens on uh, that box that is right under the ladder that's in the way. I am told that it, according to the manual here, we'll put the we'll, we'll put the macro lens on and we'll take a look here. But uh, one of the viewers was su suggesting that uh, what what step was it? Yeah, this step here. That that particular box is supposed to go the other way. In fact, it, it looks like all of them are supposed to go the other way. Oh, we'll we'll put the macro lens on and we'll have a nice close look here. Let's let's get the uh, let's get the ball rolling, as they say, and um, see what we can do here today. I, I don't think there's a whole lot left for us to do in step number forty-six, and then we'll be uh, holy moly. Forty-seven is the last one. I honestly did not realize we were at the end. Somehow, why did I was think think there was like 70, 70 steps in this? Maybe I'm thinking of the Yamato manual. <laughs> anyway, that's scary. You know what that means? The 47 looks like it's basically dropping guns down and stuff. That means I'll have to start the railing. That's scary. Um... I'm sort of in shock here. I didn't realize we were this close to the end. It's almost sad. Okay, uh, enough theatrics here. Let's uh, let's uh, recompose here and uh, yeah, I'm not just thrown for a loop here with this because uh, I did not realize we were so close to the end. Okay. Okay, I was going to use a pencil and I actually started to do it. I noticed I was accidentally drawing on the manual here. 
Okay, now if we look closely, you can see the hinges where they're positioned. And uh, yes, I did put them on wrong. I should have had them uh, uh, with with the higher side towards the bow, which is which is in this direction. Um, yeah. Uh, now I don't think there's. I, I, I had entertained the idea of breaking them off and uh, and twisting them around. Well, I guess I would have twisted them this way, wouldn't I? Because right now the hinges are are leaning against the back of the of the bulkhead. Um, okay. Yeah, I can see I did it wrong. Let's let's just see if I can sort of get away with it. Okay, just let me move this wire here out of your way very carefully now. And uh, as you can see here, I have glued it in place. Now don't go poking at it. Um, that is where it's going to stay. And there's uh, about the only thing I might do is I might touch up a little bit with the 77 right here. I don't think I'm going to dare try and do anything on the... I, I did glue the uh, the uh, ends of the stringers here down onto the planking. Um, but I don't think I'm going to mess around with the brush there. I think I'd probably only make it worse. Uh, there's, there's very little visible uh, glue showing, at least from my perspective. I, I think it depends on how the light hits it. Now this this side is the side we are going to be viewing when it's in the case. So I want to try and get it uh, as reasonably uh, correct and everything as possible. Okay, let's uh, let's move on here. Okay, I don't think you can probably see it from your perspective, but the uh, uh, black oil sunflower seeds has really gone down on the bird feeder just in the last day or so. I'd like to know what it was that got in there that wanted it so bad. Okay, now, uh, I have triple checked, and as near as I can tell, everything that Step 46 wanted us to do is done. Here we go. The last step. And uh, it's just a case of dropping down very large components. I am wondering, though, I am wondering, would I not be better off putting the railing on before I get all these pieces in the road? Uh, I, I think that the next thing that I should start doing is the, is the railing. And then there's a, a myriad of, of little things like the uh, the uh, bow staff and the ensign flag staff. Uh, and then there's some uh, little... Uh, actually, there's, there's, there's quite a few little pieces that we, we held back on. Very delicate little pieces that have to be dropped down. I think they, they should maybe be put on before we drop down these major components. Uh, now that's just my opinion, it's, it's, especially the railing. I'm afraid that some some of these things might kind of be in the road. If uh, um, I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. In the meantime, uh, I wanted to mention that I am going to attach this morning's sunrise at the end of today's episode. Uh, it, it runs about uh, eight nine minutes because I I did most of it in real time. And I added some, some music to it. So somebody might like it. Probably most of you won't. Anyway. Um, what else can I say here? Uh, let's, let's just pause for a minute and see what are we going to do. Now I was uh, overlooking in my little box of all the stuff that we have to drop down later. And I'm seeing the hose reel. And then I realized, hey, we, we didn't put the hose reel on. We are not on step 47. I'm almost relieved. I don't know why. Uh, yeah, we've got to drop that hose wheel down. It doesn't say both sides, uh, unless we already put one on the other side, but I don't remember doing it. Also, there's, there's, there's this thing. 
Now, I did put two of these on. It, it could be that this is an extra one for some reason, or it could be that the Nelson required three. Um, but, you know, I, I could have missed it, but I don't think so. Um, okay, let's, let's recompose here and uh, drop our hose reel down. Okay, I think I have the camera out of my way here enough. Now that the idea is that those legs are supposed to drop down in those little holes, I, I don't know. Let's find something else to push down on. I'm going to have to uh, move the camera off to the side. Sorry about that. Okay, maybe I can look at it more squarely myself here. I don't want to break the legs. Um, now I'm thinking maybe if I was to take and just drop some extra thin in each hole it would be just enough to you know to, to meld the plastic legs in there the, the legs are made of plastic okay now I could just bring that in just a little bit That looks fairly level. Okay. Trying not to get into your light here. On the other side. Alright, I know that doesn't look like there's very much there, but I, I think that once that plastic melts, it's, it's not going to fall out of there unless I was to catch something on it. Okay, I'm not going to put any more on. Okay. Now, it's getting on here this afternoon. I did have other things uh, that I had to do this morning, like go to the pharmacy, or maybe as you say in the UK, the chemist, and uh, pick up some medication. And then I spent a little bit of time counting my pills. Maybe I'll show you that. <laughs> now, I'm wondering about our anchor chain here. Maybe I should leave it in the little pouch here uh, until I'm ready to actually use it. And I won't be getting grease off my fingers on it. Because I'm thinking that maybe I'll use the uh, brass black to darken it instead of trying to paint it because if I try to paint it unless I was to spray it I'm going to definitely fill in all the little uh, the detail of all the links whereas if I use the brass black it uh, yes it does put a black powder coat on it sort of from the oxidation but it, it'll be at least more definitive at least that's my thinking right now now is there anybody who has used brass black on an anchor chain, I think it'll probably work. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to do it today. I think I'm just about ready to wind this uh, this episode up here. Anyway, let, let's go. Let's go count our pills. Ninety times four. Okay, there, there should be three hundred and sixty pills in here. Now the reason I'm checking is because lately I've been having problems with these guys. Put it in piles of 50. There's two, four, 48, 50. Okay, 50. Now, I can 
weigh these and then weigh and see how much 50 weighs and then I could probably just for the fun of it they're, they're probably all here only once did they short me uh, I don't think they del would deliberately do it I just don't think they're as on the bit as they should be uh, okay so just just for the fun of it I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get my my accurate scale and uh, I'm just gonna weigh it I've got a scale that will weigh to one one thousandth of a gram and a small amount like this it should be able to handle it Okay, now, I guess what we should be doing is to make it easy for ourselves. Okay, let us put this on here. Let it settle down. Looks like it's 12.121 grams. All right, now, I don't want to be down on my hands and knees on the floor. So what do we got here? Okay, now this thing is so sensitive that you don't want to breathe down on it when it's weighing. Okay, uh, 360 pills should weigh, uh, according to my calculations, 57.564. Now this, this entire thing weighed 70.1 minus the weight of the container means that there is 57.979 pills in there in, in grams. Now you'll you'll notice that it that it's that it's almost the same here. So I'm going to assume that in fact it is it a little bit more? Maybe they gave me one pill too many? Anyway, I'm not gonna bother counting the rest of them because it's it's close enough. Uh, I, I'm sure that they were probably extra careful because they realize that they've uh, uh, screwed up on me before, so they're not going to want to do it again. In other words, they know that I'm probably going to check, which I did. Okay, they're, as far as I'm concerned, they're all there. Okay, here is what's happened. Well, I was editing out those last few uh, scenes that you saw. My doorbell rings, and that's the mailman. <laughs> Same guy that uh, dropped off yesterday's package. So we're going to have to have a special box opening here. I don't really have time to do it justice today. I recognize the name of the person that sent it, or at least uh, his avatar name. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see this in tomorrow's rollback. So... Uh, Thanks for watching everybody, and, and thanks to this guy. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sort of speechless again here. All being well, we're going to be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs>